Welcome back. You're watching Startup Central with Nilantara Rai, working from home. Now, during the lockdown, we've seen it becoming a hacker's paradise. We've all read about those breaches at pharmaceutical companies, at technology companies. We've heard horrific stories from our friends and family members of people that's happened to them or people they know with their bank accounts. Our next guest is a startup that's trying to solve that problem. Cybersecurity solutions for you on your mobile device. So you have some idea if, you're, if you are vulnerable for a breach. Our next guest is a cybersecurity expert and co-founder of Lucidius, Sakit Modi, who's come out with an app for people like you and me to download on our phones to know when we can be compromised if we have been compromised. Here's a conversation I had earlier in the day with Sakit Modi. Our next guest is a cybersecurity expert. In fact, that's what his startup is all about. Lucidius Sakit Modi joining us live right here on Startup Central. Now, Lucidius so far has been offering uh, cybersecurity solutions for businesses. In a first move, it's now going to offer it to all of us consumers. So it's getting into B2C. And why not? During COVID-19, we've all been reading and hearing about how it's been a hacker's paradise. Uh, so let's discuss this and more with Sakit Modi. Thanks a lot for joining us live. Uh, Sakit, it's always a pleasure talking to you. Congratulations. Uh, There's a big announcement that you've come out with uh, B2C cybersecurity solutions and app as well for the iOS as well as the Play Store. Um, what do you expect to achieve solutions and app as well for the iOS as well as the Play Store um, what do you expect to achieve from it? First of all, what does it do? Like, is it just going to tell me, is my password good enough? Uh, is, it, is, it, is it an app that's going to make sure that my other apps don't get hacked? Nantara, first of all, thank you for having me on your show. It's always a pleasure and an honor to be with you. Uh, as you very rightly pointed out, Nantara, we've been very, very fortunate to actually be serving some of the largest Fortune 500 companies around the world in protect, protecting their digital infrastructures, whether it's on-prem, whether it's on the cloud, and actually providing them cybersecurity in helping them quantify the breach likelihood. In other words, the risk posture that they are sitting on. More often than not, most of our customers kept coming back to us and saying that we love what you do from a security infrastructure side and you know, protecting my laptops, desktops, servers, web apps, cloud, etc., etc. But what we don't see you helping us with is protecting that element in my whole security ecosystem, which is the most weakest link of them all, which is the human element, Nanta. So this question, this idea kept coming again and again and again with multiple of our customers. And we said, you know what, the traditional ways in which cybersecurity for individuals have been taught or have been structured is extremely broken. Not just in the enterprise side where you take boring courses once in a year, that too in a few organizations only, not everywhere. You, you get these random phishing emails and then, you know, if you click, they say, hey, why did you click it? If you don't click it, it's all good, etc., etc. It's extremely fragmented and it doesn't really give you your own security risk posture. So if I ask you a simple question, Nantara, how secured are you in the cyber ecosystem or the digital uh, space which is out there? I'm pretty sure you don't have an objective answer to it. So we said it's time to really solve the people problem along with the infrastructure. Of course, you've got a laptop, your cell phones, etc., etc., which need protection. But then you are the person who's controlling that laptop or that cell phone or your smartwatch or your smart TV or your Alexa, etc., etc. So how do we educate you? How do we tell you how secured are your devices? How do we tell you the exposed information about you on the internet, on the deep and dark web? How do we enable you by re-engineering your cyber consciousness? Is the laser focus of this app, Nantara, right. where you become the de facto place for everybody for their cybersecurity requirement as an individual? So, you know, uh, this app is going to be called Safe Me. I think that's what your new vertical and new venture is called. Um, 
But you know, break it down for us. So what happens? I let's say I'm Nantara Rai. I mean, I am Nantara Rai. I download Safe Me on my smartphone. Then what? What does it do? Can you give us a demo? Can you see my screen right now, Nantara? Yes. All right. If you can see my screen, this is the app. It's called Safe Me. I hope you can see that. When I click on Safe Me out here, I go inside. The first thing that I get on the screen is my own safe score, Nandara. So again, if I ask you what's your, do you have fever or not? You can calculate an exact temperature or a score and find out whether you have fever, if you have 101 degree Fahrenheit or not, etc., etc. Unfortunately, a simple way to see what risk you're at: high risk, medium risk, low, low risk, and even a decimal second decimal place accuracy. For every single individual which downloads this app, is the first thing that you get to see. You obviously can click on the score and find out what the score is about. What does it comprise of? What are the ranges? What does it mean? How do I improve the score, etc., etc., and put things together? You obviously get the trend of the score in the last 12 months. When did the score go up? When did it come down, etc., etc., and then you know you put things together on that perspective. To your point, Tantara, can we break it down? Let's break down the overall. Set score of the individual, and then go inside. So I'm going to click on the first tab, which is awareness, Nandara, which itself is an extremely strong value proposition for most of our, you know, customers wherever we are going out with, whether it's consumers or enterprise. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. We have hundreds of cybersecurity courses. So if I type say WhatsApp, I get four courses, Nandara. The first one is how to use WhatsApp in a secured way. The second is how to make secure transactions using WhatsApp payments. The third is how do you delete your WhatsApp account in the right way. And the fourth one is how do you recover your hacked WhatsApp account, which is out there. You can click on any course, and you will get a three-minute video, both in English and in Hindi, that you can watch it. And it's an animated video. Every course has a video which is less than three minutes. We ensure that it's a very quick. Nano module that you can you know go through. It actually tells you screen by screen what to do, what not to do, in order to make your WhatsApp secure. And then when you click on Start Quiz, it actually asks you a couple of questions. So I'm going to ask. I'm randomly answering the questions, so don't judge me if I get a really bad score. Well, I just cleared one out of five uh, questions out there, and therefore this was not a very uh, you know it was it, it you know it'll, it'll actually impact my score in a negative way. And it's not just WhatsApp. If you want to know how do you actually make your Uber more secure, the Uber app, or even Beam application which you might be using. So if you go to Beam, and uh, you will be able to say how do you do secure usage of the Beam app, Google Pay, Paytm. All of those are courses free of cost available for the mobile app that anybody downloads. So that's the first one, which is called Courses Nantara. The second tab is called Devices, where you actually go ahead. And scan the device to find out whether your data is being intercepted by a hacker. Your data is being, you know, is being stolen, or the credentials are being stolen, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's on the device security side of things, which are out there, Nantara. And even if you're jailbroken uh, as a device or you're rooted as a device, we actually detect that, and that does have a negative impact on the on the score uh, or the breach likelihood goes up. The third piece is your deep and dark web exposure. So, Nantara, if you or your viewers right now will download the app, you can see the list of all usernames and passwords about you, which is out there in the public. This, what you're seeing on the screen, Nantara, is a Zomato password of mine. This is my real password. Or well, used to be my real password. Of course, now it's changed. And the password was he he ha ha. I intentionally kept that password many years back, thinking if someday Zomato gets breached and somebody sees my password. I want to laugh at that person because obviously I don't use this password for any of my net banking or my emails, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But this, free of cost, will show you the 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 uh, you know the places where your emails exposure is 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 out there. Whether it's your passwords, whether it's your even information about your phone number, even information about your address, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, out there. We'll put all of that together. And for the consumer, you put all of those things together, and there's more because you know you actually have three versions of the app: basic, enterprise, and platinum. The basic one is the consumer one, which is completely free of cost. 
the enterprise one is the one where you actually pay around yeah. uh, you know, 2500 uh, rupees a year for every employee and there's a platinum for executives where you end up paying 7 lakh rupees per executive per year typically for ceos and board members so anyways coming back nandana that's a very very quick walk through what the app looks like it's a one of its kind app which takes zero permissions so when you download it it doesn't But ask it yeah nandana But I just want to ask you one thing. You know, just coming to the pricing uh, models that you have, and uh, you know, we all are jugadus, aren't we? So if you're going to have a free version there, what's to stop uh, companies from telling their employees that you download the free version? Then what will that mean for Sakit Modi and his startup and his business? And my second question also, uh, I'll come to that first. First, tell me this. Then there, it's like asking Google that. You have a free of cost version of Gmail, which everybody can be using, by the way. But why will people subscribe to your enterprise version? The answer is the same with me. Or it's like Zoom, which gives you a free of cost version, or Slack, which gives you a free of cost version, which you of course can use in your enterprise. But when you subscribe to SafeMe as an organization, you get a centralized dashboard where every employee gets a safe score. and you can run campaigns and the number of videos goes up the number of controls go up etc etc but can they send an email asking everybody to download absolutely and frankly i would like that nandara where in some place people can't afford us uh, i would still want them to be using my product and uh, i i would be actually very happy that even if they didn't buy us they still asked all of their employees to download the app and 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 take it from there is that answer your question nandara Yeah, it absolutely does. Uh, I didn't make fun of your Zomato password, and I'm not going to ask you if you ever had a chance uh, to laugh at anyone uh, with that password. But the other thing I want to ask you is: so the sense I'm getting is that this app will keep updating the consumer when when there is a breach. Like, will there be a notification that's going to come, or uh, it keeps getting updated, right? So for that, I have to also ensure that the safety app on my phone. uh has the right settings absolutely nandara in fact uh, i told you it's a zero permission app it doesn't take any permission to go ahead and see your location picture or anything like that but you know when i was giving this demo in the morning to one of my investors he said sake no that's not right it that it did ask me for a permission and i'm like which permission he said it asked me for the permission to send me notifications so i said yes i stand corrected it does take your permission to allow you to give them not give you notification and the notification nandara is what you said would be reactive things so if your username so just last week you saw iamjobs.com the week before that you saw bigbasket.com etc 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 any of the breaches which happen anywhere in the world where your emails password is leaked or the user id and the password of that 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 website which is leaked comes out you will get a notification on your phone saying hey your id on iamjobs.com just got leaked this is the password or even if there's no password sometimes it might just be encrypted you want to just go and either change the password and make sure you don't use that password at other places which are out there so nandara absolutely that's something that will be uh, that will be real time and continuously uh, you know updating individual users out there Is it also going to eventually evolve into a password manager? I think there are some incredible password managers out there Nandara and uh, we highly recommend the usage of good password managers because it's not possible for you to remember complex passwords at you know 50 websites or apps which you would be using. So again we don't have a plan for that in the future. We would rather integrate with an existing password manager and provide that uh rather than building our own why reinvent the wheel which is already out there uh in a fairly matured market sakit with that i'm going to thank you for taking the time out to join us here um, all the very best uh, which saved me it's always a pleasure interviewing you likewise thank you so much for having me on the show thank you bye bye cheers